And he made it clear to me, he's like, almost nobody in the body, a lot of people in the body, they don't even read their Bibles. Even ministers don't even read their Bibles. So can you touch on that a little? Like, what's, what, <laughs> how are we supposed to fight without the sword? <laughs> because, uh, I mean, it's like saying, how could you bite your food without teeth? You could trust the man on your new television, on your new refrigerator, on your new computer, but you can't trust the man that got left on the earth for you to eat, breathe, sleep on, live on, and finish on. Mm. And, and, and people, they have five translations at home and they read none of them. NIV, they got the Passion, they got the New King James, they got the King James, and all those Bibles, if you go and you grab them, the pages are still new. Mm. And then in China, the underground church are dying for the Bible. They get caught. Come on, man. People in China are, are being, being they 20 years hard labor because they got caught with two pages of the Bible. Not even the whole Bible. They got caught with two pages of the Bible. And they're doing 20 years of hard labor. That's right. What God's going to say when you get to heaven about you? And he said this to me. He there said, the moment the church steps out of the four walls and hits the streets is when we're going to see true revival come. Because you know what, John, we've built the, we, we call kingdom building churches, built church buildings is what I mean is, is building stages mm -hmm. with lights and seats and having us uh, programs, but our programs have no manifestations of the power of God, no manifestations of the Holy spirit. They're not equipping people to go out there and do the work of ministries. That's the whole purpose of the fivefold, which is why I love what you're doing, because your primary emphasis is equipping, not not just mm -hmm. teaching, mm -hmm. equipping. You're giving you're giving them stuff that they can take and do with, right? And so, yeah, and, and, and stuff that, 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 that it's not only you take it in, but use it. I mean, I, I'm not teaching believers. You know, a lot of people we expose it. We we talk about the devil, but we don't expose the devil. We talk about that we don't confront the devil. I'm teaching believers how to confront this devil in front of you, fight, know how to fight him, Come know on. how to dismantle him, and know how to destroy the things in front of you, and live the life that God has for you. We could talk, a lot of people talk about the enemy, but they don't teach you how to fight them. That's right. They don't teach you how to fight them because they don't know how to fight them. That's right. They don't know how to fight them. So they'll talk about the devil, but they don't know how to fight them. They don't know spiritual warfare. That's why churches are dying. Because if, if, I, had, if I was a pastor, if I was a pastor and I was to have a church, I Come built on. me a crazy off the hook, drop it like you're hot, intercessor team. Come on, man. <laughs> right? That's, that, that's, that's what you call defense. And mm -hmm. then I built me an awesome, off the hook, arm and dangerous spiritual warfare team. That's what you call offense. Mm. And then I built me a crazy, like David had 400 in the cave, deliverance ministers. Come on, man. That's good. And stuff. then and think about it. If I had those three elements in my church, ain't no devil will show up on Sunday or any other day because I got some stuff that will give them a perm. I beat them like a piñata in the Mexican party because whatever you throw, any witches throw my, any witches throw stuff my way. I got intercessor that will intercede your stuff, and then I got, the, I got, I got, I got, I got spiritual warfare people that will send it like it's hot down your way, and mm -hmm. then I got, and then if you come to my church, I guarantee you, you'll be delivered because I got an awesome deliverance team that will deliver you, and then I, then me as a preacher, I fill you with the word of God, I fill you with the Holy Spirit. I will make sure that you have the fear of God when you come in at your walk. Your, when you walk the streets of New York City, you know that when you wake up, the fear of God will hit you because I will train you, I will equip you, and I will show you how to walk in the fear of God. That's how you built the church. If I was a pastor, that's how I will build my church. I will build my church with those ingredients. I will bake your cake that the devil will hate it and it'll be poison for him, but it'll be glory to God because I will build a church to be arm and dangerous on that level because the end times are here. Mm, end right. times, uh, the end time church, we need to establish. That would establish an end time church. That would be a church that would bring balance to the church, alignment with heaven, balance to the church, mm. and hell on the devil.